Welcome to Digital VLSI Design Virtual Lab, experiment number 6, Latches. The aim of this experiment is to design and plot the characteristics of a positive as well as negative latches based on multiplex rates. Now to begin, click on the simulator tab. Here you are provided with the two separate link, one for a positive latch and the other for a negative latch. We will now see the operation of a positive latch simulation experiment. Click on link number 1. In this new page, you have the schematic diagram of a positive large circuit setup and the corresponding program codes are shown on the right side of the page. Here, N3 is the clock signal input for the latch. N2 is the data line input and N7 is the output of the latch. If you look at the circuit diagram, a positive large circuit is implemented by using a 2 by 1 multiplexer whose inputs are N8 and N4. We know for a 2 by 1 multiplexer only one of the input follows to the output and it depends on the value of the select input which is N3 and its inverted version is N5. So during the positive level of the clock signal that is when N3 is at high state, the lower transmission gate will be in the on state and the top transmission gate will be in the off state. Therefore, whatever input that we are supplying to the lower line will be followed to the output which is taken from N7. Due to the double inversions at two inverters, one at X in 1 and the other at X in 3, Nodes N2 and N7 has a similar waveform, the only difference being the delay is in introduced through the two inverters and one of the transmission gate, which is the lower transmission gate. During the negative level of the clock signal, that is when the clock signal is at a low state, the top transmission gate will be in the on state and the bottom will be in the off state. Therefore, no input comes to the output. Instead, whatever was the output is fed back again as in the case of a flip-flop circuit. This enables the latch to hold its previous states during the negative level of the clock signal and it follows the input during the positive level of the clock signal. All of these inter interconnections that we have mentioned in the circuit diagram is implemented by using a SPICE program code. Here Vin is the pulse waveform of the input signal, V clock is the pulse waveform of the clock signal. The circuit consists of four separate inverters. We implement them by using a sub-circuit inverter subroutine, which are then defined and called separately under different labels as X in, in 1 to X in 4. Then the components inside a transmission gate are also defined for transmission gate 1 and transmission gate 2. This is then followed by the SPICE level 49 model for NMOS and PMOS device. And the program ends with a transient analysis for a duration of 30 nanosecond with 1 nanosecond sampling rate. Now to perform the experiment, click on the simulate tab. Here we have three separate waveform. The first one corresponding to the data input. The second one which is a low frequency signal corresponds to the clock input. And finally, we have the required output waveform. Notice that for a positive latch, the output should be a followed version of input during the positive level of the clock signal which can be verified from the waveform. And during the negative level of the clock signal, whatever output was remaining at the end of the active edge should remain. Thus, we have successfully implemented a positive latch characteristic. One can also perform timing analysis in order to find out the delays of the output during the rise and the falling edges or the propagation delay 
by appropriately magnifying the instances which this transition takes place. In a similar way, one can also go back to the simulate tab and perform the negative large characteristics by clicking on link number 2. Thank you.